Buck, buck, buck. I'm a chicken janitor. <laughs> no. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hi, everyone. I'm Corwin. This is Adam. You're watching Handbasket Gaming. We're playing Kindergarten. We didn't get enough of it the first time. So we're gonna do it again. <laughs> I feel like this, this time a, in game form. I think this is a pretty long game, so we're gonna have quite a few episodes of this. But I let's go so. inside. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies. But morning time. Or you could be sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best you you could be. We'll go find a partner. Okay. Um, so, okay, so we're trying to go through the teacher storyline, so let's talk to the teacher. Go find your morning, buddy, or you'll be an outcast loser like Nugget. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 okay, so she wanted to see me about Jerome. You want to see uh, me about Jerome? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. The high and mighty Jerome. Always talking back to me because his dad's my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I'll bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. <laughs> What's Nugget's life worth to you? <laughs> do it. Do it. Not much, but I'll make a teacher's salary so even by my student's life valuing system, it still can be pretty significant percentage. Uh, why don't you just take the- I'll do it! Excellent. Just go over there and get him to give it to you. Okay. Gotta go to Nugget, remember? Nugget's gotta give you the hall pass. No, he said I thought she said Jerome. Nugget's got the hall pass. No, she said he she bets okay. Nugget's life that Jerome uh, okay. has the hall pass. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Marty's gonna hook Hook me up with some sweet yo-yo. Did you steal a hall pass? Why? You interested in getting one? Yes. Well, too bad. I'm not interested in helping dweeb like you. Why not? Look, man, unless there's something cool in it for me, you can forget about it. Now get lost. I'll get lost. Um, okay, so Go put he said curls hair. Monty has a yo-yo that he's gonna Okay, so. Let's go. I assume this kid is Monty because he's the only one we haven't talked to. What? You want to be my morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense. So unless you're buying or selling something, let's get lo or get lost. Oh uh, yeah, let's buy something. Here's what's for sale. Yeah. Okay. So we buy the yo-yo. Heh, yo-yos. Don't know what it is about these things, but Jerome loves them. You can have it for a dollar. What do you say? I will take the yo-yo. Pleasure doing business with you. All right. I don't think I need anything else. No. So now we get to rub the yo-yo in his face and maybe he'll give us the hall pass. <laughs> I told you already, I'm not interested in getting you a hall pass unless there's something cool in it for me. Now get lost. Are yo-yos cool? Hell yeah they are. Maybe you are cool after all. Trade you the yo-yo for the pass. You got a deal and since we're gonna be friends, I think you should do something to help me out. You know, as a friend, like, like what? You're being creepy. You know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning. Said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. Or anybody's eyes. Those things are dangerous. I need you to help me get it back. What do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get... Uh, you already have a hall pass. Yeah. You can use it to get by the hall monitor. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser pointer should be in there somewhere. Yeah, sure. Awesome. It should be in a box somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger in there too long. He checks back frequently. Got it. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll give you the pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for long, so head straight to the door. Don't talk to anyone on your way out. Okay. So, I guess we distract- and we, we say, yeah, go distract her, and then immediately go and give her the pass. <laughs> yeah, do that. Oh, look how distracted she is. Hey, teacher. Give me just a minute. Jerome, give me just a minute. <laughs> Jerome is distracting me. <laughs> That's funny. I got the pass from Jerome. I knew it. 
Sorry, it was Jerome, just you little things. cockroach. You've been you've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. I was looking down at the keyboard when you started reading, so I'm just like, D is she calling him a cocksucker? <laughs> what? You ratted me out to the teacher? Dude. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. I was just about to say, please don't call me that. No, because that's what you are. Teacher's special little rat. Ju just like Jerome is teacher's special little suspended hooligan. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. Yeah, you were wrong about that. Mistakes. Well, he's not. And because <laughs> he's not, he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Boom. Man, stupid rat. Gonna get me in trouble. My dad's gonna kill me. I mean, in this game, maybe Probably. literally. Oh, that's just perfect. You're natural at this. Let's keep this removal train rolling. How? I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Oh, okay, I guess. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there. You'll have you'll have to get creative though. Okay. Um. Okay. So I guess her storyline is just to fucking betray Wait, every here kid we go. in class. Let's uh, let's take a quick uh, quick look at. Nope, not that. Uh, quick look at our hints page because it keeps updating. Let's see if we can figure anything out about her. Where did Jerome Jerome during morning time? But give me. Okay, yeah. So we figured that out. Talk to Nugget after Jerome has been suspended. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, so we've got to talk to Let's Nugget. Talk to Nugget. Yeah. Oh, uh, do we want to do? Oh, well, we've only got two apples left, so let's talk to Nugget first. Yeah. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Uh, do you want to be friends? I'm oh, sorry. That was. Oh. Nugget normally spends morning time alone, and eats lunch alone, and he lives life alone. Nugget supposes he could be your friend if... If what? If you eat this nugget. That's it? Yeah. Do it for Nugget, and we'll be friends forever. Mm, okay. Good. Now remember the taste of the nugget. It would, we will dine together at lunch. Nugget will see you then. Okay. Um, I feel like Nugget is one of his balls. I I think it's supposed to be a chicken nugget, but yeah. Okay, so we're all caught up on various things, so I guess gum in the hair? Yeah. Gum in the hair. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy anymore. My brother Billy is my normally my buddy, but he's missing Captain. Doctor? What are you doing here? Captain, I'm in school learning to become a doctor so I can be on your ship, Captain. Oh my god. Gum in your hair! Did you just... Oh, you did! You put gum in my hair! That's so mean! Cindy put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't even care! Leave me alone, Captain! Pimp away! Yeah. You alright over there? <laughs> it's making me cough. Okay, kids. That's the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. That's a word for it. Okay, so we didn't have time to talk to Cindy after putting gum in Lily's hair. So that's a thing. Okay, so we have to try to get people in trouble. Wait, what did the thing say? Get Lily in trouble, get Monty in trouble. All right, gain the trust of Nugget. Okay, so we have to talk to Nugget to make sure that he's our friend. So let's mm. do that. Nugget is pleased that you returned. Tell Nugget the Nugget you consume was very tasty, yes? Sure, I guess. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? Nugget poisons the Nugget. What the fuck is the matter with it? I'm gonna die? Deranged. Normally, Bugs has thrown slap in Nugget's head by now. I got Bell and Bugs' is spell this morning! You did? Oh my! Nugget's revenge on Bugs would have been so satisfying. But I guess this does not cause any potential legal trouble for Nugget down the road. So about that antidote? Oh yes, of course. 
Silly Nugget almost forgot. There you are. Wouldn't want Nugget's new friend to cough up his own stomach now, would we? Yeah, I'll take the antidote. What the f- Nugget's glad you have his friend. Please, come visit Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Okay, so we succeeded. We got Nugget as our friend. So that's that's Dunion Rings. All right, um, let's talk to this chick. So... Bondi. Okay, yeah, how are we getting you in trouble? Sorry, sweetie, we're through. Better luck tomorrow. It's for the best. Oh, shit. But how do we... She wanted us to talk to her before, uh... Oh, damn it. Okay, so there's, like, there's a decent amount of, like, planning that go... All right, well, okay, we're gonna keep... We're gonna keep going so that we can learn things, and we might, like, between episodes, like, do, uh, run-throughs and stuff. I figured you'd be seeing me around now. Slop is no good, and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. Um... Well, what can we buy from you? Here's what's for sale. Salad, McLob Silly Meal, and never mind. Okay. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing. Fuck off. Um, what do you got to say, doctor? Please don't sit with me here, Captain. I don't want to talk to anyone until they find my brother, okay, Captain? Okay, weirdo. Um, janitor? Biscuit balls. Get your biscuit balls here. Get them while they're hot. Nah. You spelled biscuit wrong. What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. Monty can. Ah, oh, is that dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd. Um, what do you want? Got some janitor stuff you want to sell me? No, but I've got a coffin for you to buy. Oh, shit! Let this be a lesson to you about correcting people's spelling. What? There. <sighs> Lessons were learned. Lines were drawn. Okay, yeah, get him in trouble. He's dead now. You're a good kid for letting me know that little monster is going around correcting spelling. And in a school of all places. Shameful the way kids turn out these days. Um, is he dead? I is he dead? What? No, I just hit him until he got all twitchy. He'll be fine in a year or two. That's, that's wow. a long time. You just let the old janitor know if anyone else has anything to say about his spelling. I don't think this will happen again. Oh, these glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right. Thanks. Fucking terrifying. This is really fucked up. See what happens if you talk to the lunch Yeah, lady. I mean, we may as well talk to everybody. Let's we just make like, something up about her if we can. We've got plenty of apples, so. How you doing there, Sonny? What's up? Uh, want some tasty, nutritious slap for lunch? Meh. <laughs> um. Yeah, sure. There you go, buddy boy. And don't be shy about coming back for seconds. Let me show up to go around. Okay. Damn. Uh, what, should we... Do we eat it? I think on the next episode we might. Okay. We'll try that. Um, what do you th guys think was our first ever stuffed animal? Answer below. We'll record the right answers and give shoutouts to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions down there as well. Uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe. And if you, uh, if you have friends who would like them... You know, do that thing where you share the video. I thought you were about to say shit. Bye, Bye. everybody.